Hello everyone, in this video we are trying to learn about monitoring landscapes uh, from Dynamic World dataset. Dynamic World dataset is available in near real time and it is helpful in detecting changes. So we begin with the area of interest. Uh, here we have the point somewhere here. And this has been zoomed at level 10. And we provide start and index to filter our image collection, a dynamic world. And here we are now filtering by dates and filtering by the point. We have the bands here and we select the uh, different bands for our time series. So creating a time series for a point is easy. This is done through ui.chart.image.series. We provide the collection or the image collection. We have our point and we provide the scale and this prints the chart. Uh, but that chart may not be that useful because uh, its levels and colors might be different. So for this here, we have the function and it takes the level and color. And from the set options, we provide this, uh, this language class and the color for uh, different classes. So this is just the way to make the chart uh, helpful in terms of the information. So we will run this later. So this is just to see the uh, line graph. And here is one example uh, as given in the tutorial. In this, we are trying to observe the urban sprawl or urban increase uh, in that area. So for this, uh, this is the area of interest, and this is somewhere in the uh, Nepal. This is the district, and we are zooming this. So here we have the two different years, 2017 and 2020, and this is the way to uh, use the different dates. So for example, here we are using ee.date.from ymd, and what this does is it just uses the current year to produce the date. So we are using the first month, first date for this uh, year 2017. And similarly, there is another function dot advance and it advances the year to the next year. So this 2017 uh, before year is used to, um, to um, do it for the single year from 2017 to 2018. And similar uh, has been repeated in this as well for 2020 and 2021. And then we have the data sets. Uh, we filter it from our area of interest and we select this band.build by uh, dot select build. And we find the means of those uh, image collection for two different years. And here is a simple um, way to develop the model. So we want to have this uh, less than 0.2 before and greater than 0.5 after. So this is the way to detect that uh, urban areas. So we can do here uh, by adding them as the layer and we click for our area of interest. And then we provide the visualizing parameters that's above here and provide the name for the lid. So we can also change uh, synonymously with the same data dataset. And we can do the median for each year. And then we can add them as the year. And finally, 
we can only use that layer, um, that urban layer as the layer to be added in the map section. So we will learn this and we can see uh, different things that we have just discussed now. So the first one here is the, uh, is the graph here. This one we did from this here chart. So this side, as you can see, does not have the levels, uh, for example, the X levels and Y levels are not that helpful and the colors are different. So we developed the, we generated the second chart and this you can see here, and this is the chart. Now here we have the levels, and as this is the uh, point or some uh, location near the lake, you can see the lake here, this point is somewhere here. And let us see this one, this is somewhere near the lake. So. My interpretation is that the data set predicts the water very well, and there is some snow or ice kind of layer, uh, which might not be actually present in those areas. Um, but overall, this is just the probabilities of different um, pixels uh, in that time or in the year. Uh, 2021. Uh, but there can sure be a different interpretations depending on the place. And to generate the chart, we had developed this function. And this function was used here in the set options. And the other one was uh, we had try visualizing the urban sprawl. For that, our layer was this uh, region, this district somewhere from Nepal. And we can see the urban layers here, these little dots, uh, red dots are the urban layers as detected from that um, less than or greater than here. So this help us to take this red patches here. So for example, let's take us this, we can zoom and we can see our signal to maze and before and after signal to maze. And there still has been some kind of change. You can see that. So there has been some kind of change here if we zoom in. So this is the before signal two, and this is after signal two. And this is one of the patch uh, or the uh, red patches as detected by that uh, function. So there has been some changes in this area. And um, the advantage of this data set is that um, the land use or uh, land cover is being generated as soon as the uh, signal to images are received. So uh, this helps us to know uh, the land use or land use at the real time uh, as soon as it happens. So this is the big advantage of this, uh, um, of this data set. Uh, and uh, for other changes, such as not only for the spill areas, uh, this can sure be helpful for uh, other uh, change detection as well uh, by developing other um, um, other um, filters like this or other uh, methods. So I hope this was helpful and some accent. Um, thank you for watching.